This Rubik's filled video is sponsored by Squarespace. Learn more about them at the end. In the 80s, there was just this guy, and now... What? Yeah. And the problem is, even though they look so similar, some of them are terrible cubes to buy, while the others are actually pretty great. And I say that as a speed cuber. So how do you know which ones are good and which ones are bad? Well, that's what this video is all about. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Don't buy the wrong cube. And let's get into it. So you might be wondering, why Rubik's? I mean, aren't there other brands of speed cubes that are way better? Well, yeah, but there's something about that Rubik's brand. I mean, this is that iconic original puzzle. So here's the first rule of thumb. Basically, the more recently it's been made, the better. Rubik's has really been upping their game in the hardware department just in the last few years. And you can really tell. The problem, of course, is this guy says 1997, 2020, which sounds really recent, but unless you have this one to compare it to, which you realize says 2021, how would you know? Is that actually a difference? Yes, a massive one, and I'm gonna show you why. Here are our beautiful two by twos that based on production date, I believe go like this. So the two by two, <laughs> look at that. Originally for eight years old, and they were like, you know what, maybe from six onwards. And then more recently like, nope, let's go back to eight. <laughs> why all the different packaging? Well, the boxes actually give us a bit of a clue. See, back in the day, they were run by Goliath Games, and then more recently by the super sad baby. I'm just kidding, Spin Master, there it is. That made its way to the front of the box. Yes, but I mean, look at the cubes themselves. Do you see any differences? Let's go from version one to version two. Very, very similar, but look at this from two to three. Big design change there. The cube is still the exact same size, but it's much more rounder. And now it has this weird like white thing in the middle. So is it any better? Let's unbox it and find out. And here it is, very light, turns pretty quickly with a pretty clacky sound. Something's loose in that, can you hear that? Now you might actually own a two by two that's even older than this. I mean, these are already plastic tiles and the old school ones ha actually had stickers on them. But remember my point is to help you not buy the wrong cube because I believe all these are still on shelves. Rubik's doesn't sell any more sticker cubes anymore. Now let's open version two and see how different it is from that guy. Packaging is pretty different and actually a fair bit harder to open. Wait, what? How are you? Ah, oh, whatever. I tried so hard. This is so impossible to open. I swear opening this is harder than solving the actual puzzle. Oh my gosh, it's still in there. This is actually the worst. Finally, it's born. All right, how do you turn? Ooh, that's very smooth and quite loose actually. Look at that. Quite similar in feel to this guy, but honestly, I can tell that some improvements have been made. So definitely the yellow packaging is the way to go, way better than that old white packaging. It's still just about as inflexible as before. And the reason why I'm looking for that is that we actually want our Rubik's cubes to be able to turn not only when they're 100% fully aligned, but even when they're slightly off. We still want them to be able to make the turn. And if they're too inflexible, that does not happen. Now this guy, let's see what improvements this latest version has. So this box is looking pretty similar on the outside with all the stuff it says on the back, but it is so much easier to open. Oh, look at that. So much better. So instantly some really obvious design differences, much more rounded edges. This thing is much more flexible and actually isn't as slippery, doesn't turn as quickly, but that's honestly a really good thing. Now the litmus test, let's see how easily this thing can turn when not fully aligned. Look at that. Hey, but it's a solve that will give us that clincher. So let's see how we go. Using my mat, of course, which you should totally get. Okay, cube number one from several years ago. Honestly, that was not a hard scramble, but it was just really hard getting those turns done when this thing was even slightly misaligned. Plus that sound is super annoying. <laughs> Puzzle number two, this case. <laughs> that was honestly worse. I think cause it was like so much faster to turn. And so it just like misaligned really easily. And finally cube number three, our modern one. Wow, that honestly surprised me a little bit. I mean, it was definitely better to turn than these two other guys. And if you're wondering, I did do a bunch of solves with each. I just chose the most average one to represent. Even so, there is a clear winner. Do not buy these guys. Sharp edges, difficult to turn, while this one just feels so much more comfortable and smooth. Even if it's not gonna break any world records, look for the Rubik's 2x2 that's got that open white center and you will not go wrong. This guy and not this guy. Next up, the 3x3s, and we've got a bunch. The 3x3s have actually been quite aggressively replaced 
placed in the last few years. So these were all actually released pretty much around the same time, but there definitely is a big difference. For starters, this is the odd one out. If you see this guy, you might be wondering why it's got such a larger price tag than the others. And it's because it is an electronic cube. It's got a battery inside. It's amazing. I made a whole video on this, which you can check out after this one. It's called the Rubik's Connected. And honestly, it's actually a fantastic cube. Really, really nice to turn and solve. But I mean, really only a cube that you'll get if you're looking for something really, really special. So a quick yes from me. If you want to spend like hundred bucks, go ahead and get this guy. But if you're looking for a more regular three by three, you'll see ones like these. Now I did a bunch of looking around in Australian toy stores and I did actually find many older versions of the three by three. They come in boxes that look like this or like this. And they might have cubes inside like this that are still stickered or ones like this that are, you know, tiled, but they're incredibly noisy. So these are the guys you're gonna see everywhere. Are they worth buying? Well, let's open up and see. For starters, you'll notice pretty much identical packaging to the one that I completely ripped up. So, sorry. Ooh, this one's actually a bit easier to open. Maybe because it's bigger. And it's free. Here it is, the original Rubik's Cube. I still don't know why they put their website on it. It's got a little bit of corner cutting. There we go. It turns pretty decently. It's got some funny sounds. Plastic tiles, honestly, really quite light. So should you buy this cube? Maybe? I mean, it's not bad. It's exactly what someone would expect if you get them Rubik's Cube. It's also way, way better than once in the past. But if, if you see that guy, Rubik's Speed. So this isn't in every shop, but it's becoming more and more common. It's a little bit more expensive than that Rubik's Cube, but let me show you why. I am speed. All right, listen to this. So already way quieter. It is much more flexible, but not overly so than this guy. And check this out. The corner cutting on this is pretty amazing. And because of that, oh man, it is so nice to turn. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, again, way, way, way better than cubes used to be. I mean, turn, oh. Yuck, let's not touch this guy. Okay, like before, let's do some quick solves. So our modern classic Rubik's Cube. Honestly, not a bad solve, but 17 is not a great time for me. I wanted to turn it a lot faster than I actually could. There were just moments where like, it's not bad, but it's not good. Okay, I'm gonna really regret saying that because I'm gonna end up getting a bad time for this part, hey. Just to show that wasn't a fluke. Hey, 12, very nice. Yeah, the Rubik's speed is so much nicer. There is one criticism, the one weakness, which is that I think in Rubik's plight to make this like really nice and bendy, they also made it really, really easy for corners to twist while you're solving the cube. And I'm pretty sure Yep, there's no way this guy is twisting. Now, as I said, that's usually a strength because it means that it's nice and bendy and it can corner cut. However, for beginner cubers, if you have a single corner twist, this entire cube is not solvable. They'll, they'll reach a stage like this and be like, oh, I did something wrong. And then they will try and like to an algorithm and they're like, that doesn't look right. Should I do this? And they're like, oh no, what should I do with that? And basically it's, it's unsolvable. So if you see a case like this, you literally just need to twist that and then the cube can now be solved. So hands down, 100, 100, 100% get the Rubik's Speed. It's the best three by three that the Rubik's brand currently makes. But in the absence of this, the three by three that they currently make, good enough, I guess. Next, the four by fours. This one I'm really excited about because I've heard, I've heard about the updated cube, but I have never tried it myself. Wait, that's a five by five. Oops, <clears throat> sorry about that. So once again, huge differences in packaging. Look down there, Goliath. And then Spin Master, at least they agree on ages. A pretty high challenge level. What's with the color change? But that of course is not the only difference. Check out the size. This is a significant amount of shrinking that the new 4x4 has and it's honestly a massive advantage. We're talking about a difference uh, from of 65 millimeters down to about 57 or 58 millimeters, which is a huge difference. And okay, you're not gonna go around the shops with a ruler <laughs> measuring the difference. But I mean, if you're at the store, you won't see this on its own, right? Like you will see threes and twos as well. And basically, look, it's nearly the same size. Whereas the old version, yeah, there's like a big size difference there. <sighs> Once again, I'm sorry. Yo, 
This guy is resisting. What? I feel like Jerry rig everything doing the iPhone Ben test. Even at level seven, you can still see scratches appear on the glass. Okay, I didn't actually scratch the cube. This is still just a plastic. And yes, I realize the irony of me saying you shouldn't buy this and then me actually going out to buy these myself. Oh, here he comes. Yes, just like opening a ripe durian. That is one chunky monkey. Let's go ahead and open this guy too. I literally bought this like three days ago. It was the first time I saw this available in Australia. Okay, size difference, turning. What is this? The crazy thing is I bought them at the same store. This guy was on clearance while this was still like full price. And I was like, look, there's some improvements, but it can't be that different, right? The old 4x4 is actually the worst. It is so bad. It's like everything I hated about this stiff 2x2 two two, now scaled up to the 4. I'm actually not making this up. This is actually horrid. Meanwhile, here we go, first turns. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. We even have some small amounts of corner cutting. Inner layers. Don't know if I can say it's perfect though, but I mean, compared to this, I can barely turn this with one hand. Oh my gosh. Whereas this guy, yeah. But as always, proof is in the pudding. I average about under a minute to solve a good four x four. So would you like to predict how long I'm gonna take with these guys? I'll do a side by side comparison so you can see. Here we go. My hands are still actually aching so much from this one. I had to do like whole like palm turning for this. Whereas this guy could be turned just with like single fingers like you saw before. Of all the Rubik's puzzles, this is an absolute no brainer. It's not even a matter of like, if you can't find this then okay, fine, maybe you can settle for this. It's like, do not buy the old Rubik's 4x4. One of the worst products they've ever made. I'm so sorry, Rubik's. You did so much better with the new Rubik's 4x4. You maybe still have improvements in the bag that you can bring out in the future. But yeah, please wait for this guy to come out in your area. 2021, as you can see on the back there. Yeah, please, please get this guy and not that guy. So here they are. These are the three cubes that you absolutely should buy from Rubik's. And maybe this one, if, if the speed isn't available. Okay, okay, you got me. There is one more the five by five, but there's only one that I could find that I believe you can choose from and do I have to open it? Why do you wanna watch me suffer? Was it not enough that I already gave Rubik so much of my own money just to make this video that you need me to, oh my gosh. Just before I torture myself with the Rubik's 5x5, let me tell you all about Squarespace. Squarespace gives people a powerful and beautiful online platform from which to create your website. They let you connect with your audience through gated members-only content. You can send email communications, leverage audience insights, all on one easy to use platform. Say you wanna sell a fun product like Rubik's Cubes. Squarespace has powerful e-commerce capabilities to help you sell and connect to customers and what's more, they recently added Squarespace extensions. These new third-party tools will help you manage inventory, promote products, streamline bookkeeping, and ship items all across the globe. It's a total no-brainer for e-commerce. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash tingman to save 10% of your first purchase of a website or domain. All right. Oh, wow. This is Spin Master, by the way. So this is like one of their new versions, the Rubik's Professor. Yo! Those are stickers. This isn't even tiled. For comparison, this is my main seven by seven cube that I use in competitions. It is smaller than the five by five. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm holding the past. Listen to that. Let's see how it turns. <laughs> what? Now nah, I'm done. Now here's the important bit. If you wanna move out of Rubik's and into the world of actual speed cubing, watch any of these videos where I review some of my favorite top speed cubes and show you the huge difference that a great cube can make.